morning, YouTube. It's your girl Lola, and I am back again with another video. Welcome back to my channel for my new people. Welcome to my channel, and for the old people, welcome back to your girl channel. It's in the morning, I believe. It's like 11 something in the morning, and I just want to get up and give y'all a morning routine. I haven't done this in a while. I know y'all like my routine, so make sure before we get to this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell so y'all can be notified whenever your girl is posting no freaking content. But yeah, y'all, let's get right to this video. As y'all see in the title, it's gonna be a morning, quick morning routine, not too much and not too long. So let's get right into this routine. Wake up, your girl brushes her teeth. Per usual, so let's get started with that. I use me some straight up Sensodyne. This is my favorite kind of toothpaste, and it's just like, just overall, just help me with my teeth and my cavities and stuff like that, prevents my cavities. And as y'all know, I need to go to the dentist right now because your girl ain't so freaking long, and that's not healthy, so your girl needs to go to the dentist, so. This is what I use to protect my cavities and stuff from not hurting me and stuff like that. So let's get started. First off, I wash my toothbrush off and I apply a big size toothpaste on here. I like a lot of toothpaste on my toothbrush, so that's just how I do it, y'all. Okay, y'all, so basically what I do, I brush my teeth for the second time because if I feel like I didn't get everything the first time around, your girl got to make sure I get everything, mm, my mouth is juicy, the second time around. So what I'm going to be doing is brushing my teeth for the second time because your girl ate some breakfast. They cooked some breakfast for us this morning, and I got to make sure I'm cleaning all of the food on my teeth. And yeah, I got to get everything. I got to get my tongue, my upper mouth, all of that. I already got my teeth in my gum, so let me redo it. Okay, y'all, so as y'all see right here, this is my clean and clear, so I'm almost done. So I, I gotta give me some more of this because this stuff come in handy and I love this. I love using it on my face in the morning time because this was helps my face throughout the daytime and it just makes my skin feel all uh, clean and refreshing and all that. So, y'all, get y'all some clean and clear because this is some good stuff for your face. And it actually wakes you up if you like if you're sleeping and you're extra tired. This helps your face and it got some vitamin C in there. So this is a plus for your face. So let's put some cold water on my face. I get a full pump of this stuff. Well, not a full pump, but a half a pump or however much you need a full pump. It just all depends on your face. And I just rub it in my skin in a circle of motion all over my face until I feel all the little bee things dissolve my face and I actually just keep rubbing it in. So I feel like 
I rubbed it in my face good enough. So now, I'm gonna be using my exfoliating brush first, which is this one. This thing's, this thing, um, I think I used it for the first, well, I did use it for the first time yesterday, and it says do not apply this underwater. So you get your face as wet as you want it, and then you just turn it on. I want to do it the low temperature, and it actually just, you know, cleans your face. And so far, when I used it yesterday, I, I do like it. And it just made my face feel good afterwards. This thing feel like a massage, like your face is getting massaged. And it's crazy, y'all, because my chin is where I break out the most. And right here on my face. I don't know why, but this is where I break out the most, so I get my most broke out areas. Like all right here, this is where I break out the most at. In this area. And up here in this area also. This is the most broke out areas, y'all. Right here in your forehead area. Right here under your Eye area, cheek area, and on the side, right here. This is where my most broke out area right here is the side of my face and my chin, like all over right here. In my face right here. Basically my whole face is breaking out, but that's for not drinking enough water or not cleaning my face really good. I don't use really a lot of face care um, products, but I really do need to do that. And I just did, ooh, hope I didn't break it. No, it's not good. But after I wash my face, or I collate my face, I clean it off with hot water. And I kind of sponge it onto my towel so I can make sure I'm getting all of the product out. And I rinse it off again. And I kind of sponge it out, making sure all the product is out. And when it's all out and clean, I put it back inside my package thing right here. And I move on to my brush. And this what cleans your skin really, really good. I apply my brush top on there and the girl just go in with her brush. And I actually like the brush because it actually like scrapes off all of the dead skin or dirt off your face. And it actually like cleans your skin. Y'all make sure y'all get under y'all chin area. Everywhere. Good. It kind of feels like it's scratching your skin at the same time. That's why I got it on low so it won't be scratching my skin as much. So yeah. Make sure y'all put it on the low. So it won't be scratching y'all skin as much. But if y'all can go for high, then go for it. But me, my skin is very sensitive so I don't want it to scratch my skin. It's my low is good for me. Okay, I am done. Brush a little bit dirty, but not too much. And just clean it all. Really good. Now that it's nice and clean, I can apply it back into my package. And you girl is done with this brush thing. Well, with this face cleanser thing. And I just apply it back under the cabinet. And I get my exfoliating slash cotton rounds out. And I also 
get my witch hazel. I don't know which one I want to use. Maybe the natural one, the regular one. I have the coconut oil kind, but I like this one because this was like a this is a natural kind and it doesn't have like a strong scent to it. So what I'm gonna be doing is washing my towel off really, really good, off cloth and stuff like that. So I just washed my towel off really good. Now it's time to rinse my face off with cool water. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm patting my face dry. It feels clean, it feels refreshed. And of course, clean your piercings out because they tend to be nasty every once in a while. I also clean my piercings out every time I'm in the shower. So you get it clean for piercings like two or three times a day when I wash my face. Always keep your piercings clean because they tend to hold bad smells if you don't clean them. And they're just like an in general thing. I don't have to deal with that because I always clean my piercings out, but they tend to hold bad smells because it's like a hole that, that's just piercing your skin. So any hole can hold funk. So make sure y'all clean your piercings on a regular because y'all don't want that smell. Y'all got that mildew smelling in y'all piercings or whatever. Yeah, that's not good at all. Okay, y'all, so now it's time to put my witch hazel on my face. This helps my face. It clears all of the, like, it, it really just dims all the spots on my face. And it's just like a, it just feels so good, y'all. And this is gentle relief from oily, irritated, red, damaged, blemish, or inflamed skin. So this helps with all type of skin problems that you're make, that y'all might be having. And witch hazel overall is a good product to use. And it's just a healthy face product for your skin overall. So I'll start with my chin. And yes, I'm using the exfoliating side. Just rubbing it in my skin. And then after I use the exfoliating side, I go to the soft smooth side and I just rub it in my face. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is basically getting ready. Y'all just be doing some stuff. I don't really just have a, like a morning routine, but this is what I be doing in the morning time. And I just be all over the place because I really don't have a, like a, a real routine for real. Okay y'all, so next thing I do is I flatter. I get my hair together, so basically what I'm going to be doing is hot combing my hair out first in the spots I need to hot comb it out in and get myself prepared. So let's get it. Okay, y'all, so this is how it looks after I slept on it and stuff last night. Of course, I'm going to have to do my baby hairs again on my sides, my little sideburns. But your girl did not put baby hairs in her edges, on her edges. So basically what I'm going to be doing is 
only doing my sides. My baby hair is right here. And like I said, y'all, this is the wig that I basically, when I was combing it out, I split the side right here. So this wig, this wig is actually broke, but I just put it back on because I felt like it was still worth it putting back on. So it's just, I'm working with it. I don't wanna let this wig go to waste because I feel like this wig is still wearable, but it's actually broke and I still put it back on. The lace part on it broke and you can't tell, so your girl just still wearing this wig. It's actually still look good. And this is my third time putting the wig on. So it ain't that bad. I feel like it ain't that bad. Actually, still looks pretty good for me to have it been my third time putting it on. Okay, let's do my little edges. Let me put in my flat irons because I'm going to be flat ironing this hair today. And yeah, hopefully everybody learning is going good. Now let me change into my bra or whatever. I really need to change into my whole outfit for the day because. Girl just need to change. I'll be back when I change. One hour later. Okay, y'all, so I am dressed. This is my outfit for the day. I am basically comfortable. This is what I want to put on, my little workout outfit, and it just feels so good, and it just hooks my body. So I love this outfit, and I got my Crocs on today, and it's just a fit gonna be just what this is, a comfortable fit for the day, and yeah, I like it. Which I like. How y'all like it? Okay, y'all, so enough of that. All I did was, off camera was, did my little edges and took my little baby hair style braids to the side. And no, I don't have no, I don't got no edges or whatever. I just did it plain Jane. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is flattening my hair and doing my eyebrows. So let's get into it, y'all. I don't wanna take you on a vacation. I ain't even tripping, I can keep dancing. 
Okay, y'all. So basically, I the she had to change my shoes because of the fact it's raining outside, and I'm not gonna do a full face makeup thing. Well, basically, I don't use full face. I mean, I don't do a full face. I just put my eyebrow pencil on, which I use this one, and I put my Pro Concealer on, which that just make my eyebrows, and I just use my foundation. You know, basically that is what I call my full face, but y'all, I don't really know how to do a full face. I really don't use a lot of makeup on my face. I don't really need a lot of makeup on my face. I just use my, basically like this, my concealer and my foundation, and that's what all I use for my makeup. Some people might just use multiple things, but that's just me. I like a natural look, but what I'm gonna be doing is doing my eyebrows. Y'all might can't see exactly what I'm doing, but this is what I'm going to be doing. My eyebrows like this. Can y'all still see? Okay. Okay, y'all, so this is basically how it looks. I know it looks like I got a unibrow, and no, my eyebrows are not perfect. They are not even. They don't look identical, but after I put my concealer on there, you're going to be able to tell. And yeah, I just like doing my eyebrows close like this, so it won't be so far apart. And when I use my concealer, it also just cleans up all of the extra stuff I don't leave on my eyebrows. So yeah, just watch it. Okay, so your girl just been putting on makeup on today. I just did my eyebrows and put some lip gloss on my face. And because it's raining, y'all, I don't want to put no makeup on my face and stuff like that. The girl still looks good. And I'm going to take this head thing off my head. Throw my part a little better than this. Let's see. Okay, y'all, so basically, this is the finished look of how everything looks. Make sure I give you a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And yeah, if y'all like it, comment down below how y'all like my hair. And I like your outfit for the day. The girl wearing her rainbows and my little stretchy outfit. I love this outfit so freaking much, y'all, because it's so comfortable and it's thick material. So, the girl looks so pretty. Baddie on a freaking rainy day. Natural. 
Love y'all guys. See y'all in the next video. This